How's it going, everyone? Today we got a story time of a Karen who wants to ban all video games. Yeah, so basically the kids in the neighborhood were playing video games. The Karens came together and decided that they were going to enact a ban of all video games. I know you guys will enjoy today's story, so sit back, relax, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a like on the video to claim your free nothing, and with that being said, let's just jump right into it. So we're going to call a subscriber who submitted the story Alex. So anyways, right, this all happened one day when Alex and the boys, you know, they were just chilling. You know, they were like, they got, you know, they were just trying to figure out something to do. And they all kind of got into Call of Duty at the same time. Because you don't know, Call of Duty is a, like, a multiplayer, or I guess it could be single player, but it is, tends to be a multiplayer, like, first-person shooter game. It could be a lot of fun. I don't, I didn't really play it a lot, but I'll sometimes play, like, Call of Duty Zombies with people if I go over. I'm not really good at the Xbox, it's a little embarrassing, but, or the, uh, kind of like the Xbox controller type thing. But anyways, right, Alex and his friends were really getting into it. And uh, Alex and his friend's parents were starting to realize, or they were starting to notice, that their, like, kids were playing a lot of, like, spending a lot of time playing video games. And this is one thing I never really understood, so I can understand that, like, you know, playing a ton of video games is not good. In fact, I kind of try and limit the amount of time I spend playing video games to recording gameplay for my videos. And any other time after that, I try not to do it anymore. I'm just kind of at a point in my life where I like, I, I just, I just, I'm trying to like get, I'm trying to grow out of it a little bit. I'm not saying it's something you should grow up from. Video games are great. And especially if you're young, go ahead and play them. Who cares? However, one thing that was always kind of annoyed me is how parents would be like, I don't know. They'd be like, get off your phone. And then, but if you're watching TV, they're like, good, watch more TV. I'm like, what? Like, I, okay. I totally get it. If parents were like, dude, go outside. But I feel like sometimes they would like, they would, they would see the phone as the devil, but then they'd see no issue with watching TV. Because I know when they were a kid, they would be fine watching TV, but the phone is the whole new thing. I will say, I do think, like, TikTok and stuff like that is, uh, it's pretty scary and it's pretty bad. I think if, like, I had a child right now, I would just not let them download TikTok. YouTube, go ahead. Not TikTok, but this is not the video to get into my own kind of, like, my own kind of theories and stuff. But anyways, right... Basically, the subscribers, uh, Karen parents, all, or all the kind of their kids kind of came together and uh, decided that, you know, they were having a little intervention of sorts. So uh, this was all happening. This all happened one day when the subscriber, Alex, was just like downstairs in the basement because the basement of his house was kind of his like chill hangout spot. He was just down there and he was just like, you know, he was on Call of Duty, whatever. He's on call with his friends. Just playing away. And that's when he hears a call from his mom being like, hey, Alex, can you come Can you come up and talk to me? And, like, Alex has no issue, like, going up and, you know, talking to his parents, whatever. He's, he's a pretty good kid. He's pretty obedient. Uh, one thing I would just want to say before we get into what, like, the parent says or what Alex's mom says here is that Alex actually, you know, he's a good student. He, he, okay, he goes, he plays outside, he does sports, he does his schoolwork, but he also happens to play video games. If his mom was like, oh, like, uh, you know, you're not doing your schoolwork because of video games or you're not going outside enough because of video games, I probably wouldn't really have an issue with it. But the thing is, like, I don't know. If you're living a balanced life, I don't really see an issue with it. And it is a way to connect with your friends. Like, you're not going to be outside at 10 at night on a school night with your friends, but you can be, you know, playing a game with your friends at 10 at night. That's, that's kind of how I see it. Anyways, Alex, you know, goes upstairs doesn't care that he's in the middle of a game because he's not one of those sweaty kids who's like, I'm in the middle of a ranked match. I can't, I can't pause a multiplayer game. Like, he's not one of those kids, right? So he goes upstairs and, you know, his mom is sitting there and his dad is sitting there and they're both sitting at the table. And they both have this, like, confused, worried look on their face. And it's just kind of like, you know, Alex is like, uh, <laughs> what? Kind of like the face of, like, your parents find a bunch of really weird stuff or something bad in your room. They're like, we need to talk to you. We didn't know you were doing this. Playing video games. It's like, dude, relax. So Alex is real confused because he's just not up to anything bad. And he's like, oh, my God, did, like, someone in the family die? He genuinely felt like it was, like, so serious or whatever that they were like, we need to talk to you. It's bad. When in reality, they were just, like, freaking out over a video game. So anyways, Alex's mom is like, look, like, we gotta talk about the whole video game situation. And Alex in his head is like, uh, 
video game situation. Like normally when someone says situation, that implies that there's like an issue or something really bad or something. And Alex is like, I'm just playing video games, bro. Like I, it's, I really don't think it's that deep. You know what I mean? But yeah, anyways, right, you know, Alex's mom's like, you know, me and the other moms have been, have gotten together and we're all really worried about you guys. So we just wanted to let you know that we are like, you know, collecting your Xboxes and selling them. And Alex is like, eh, <laughs> what? <laughs> like what? And Alex is like, wait, what? Why? And she's like, we're just so worried for you guys. And she starts to like tear up. And Alex is like, mom, like what did they, what did, what, what did they get into you? So here's the thing. There was one Karen who was orchestrating all of this, right? Alex's mom was actually quite nice, and she was convinced by this Karen, the neighborhood Karen, that the video games were rotting their children's mind, right? So Alex is trying to tell his mom, like, look, I don't see an issue with it. I am seeing my friends more often now. My grades are just as good. I play sports just as much, and I go outside just as much as I used to. It just happens to be that the indoor time I spend, instead of watching TV, which is like a passive, like, it's passive, I'm not doing anything, that's another thing. I've never understood why, like, parents are like, we'd rather you watch TV than be on your phone. I'm like, dude, at least when you're playing a video game, you're, like, interacting with something, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's almost somehow better because, like, you're, like, your brain is interacting, solving puzzles. It, it's not, like, the greatest. I'm not saying, like, oh, yeah, like, going playing video games is just as good as going to the gym. Like, yeah, I'm not saying that, bro. But I'm also saying, like, when you watch TV, dude, the only time I watch TV ever is right before I go to bed. Or, I mean, if I'm at home, I'll watch with my parents as a thing we can do together. But, like, whenever I watch TV... It's literally to shut my brain down, like to numb my brain. That's how I numb my brain, watching TV. I don't mean like a horror thriller or whatever. I just mean like, you know what I mean? So I've never understood that argument. But yeah, so Alex is trying to like explain to his parents like, look, like, I don't know what's going on. And Alex kind of looks at his dad because like he can kind of reason with his dad more. But his dad kind of gave him the look of like, son, I don't like, I, I don't really know what's going on. But this, like, your mom, kind of the look of, like, your mom's really into this. I'd get in big trouble if I said anything against her. I don't have the power here. You're on your own type thing. So, yeah, at this point, Alex is like, look, can we at least not sell it? And uh, so, you know, the, the mom's like, well, I mean, the, the, we're going to call her the neighborhood Karen. The neighborhood Karen said, uh, I need to sell it or you're going to be trapped by the video game addiction. Uh. And Alex is like, like, okay, well, if you're really concerned about it, can you at least keep it before you sell it? And maybe I just don't play it on the weekdays, just the weekends. And she's like, no, the Karen warned me of this. This is how you're going to keep the addiction going. Your brain's going to rot even more because you're just going to think about the video games. And Alex is like, that literally makes no sense, mom. Like, please calm down. So you guys are probably hearing me mention a quote unquote neighborhood Karen a lot. Let me just say that this story is actually so insane and it's it's so it goes so many more levels and it goes much more deeper than you guys are going to believe. Let's just say the neighborhood Karen has a 700 IQ play and she's trying to scam all of them, but wait till the end to hear that. Anyways, right? So Alex is kind of like confused like why this neighborhood Karen is so like determined to like buy up all these like she or like why she's so like oh you must sell the Xbox. Because, like, I kind of understand if, like, you believe that there's, like, a genuine addiction, you probably don't want to have the stuff in your house. Like, I totally get that. However, I also, it just feels a little weird to Alex. And Alex was totally on the money with this one, but it'll take a little bit more time for the story to unfold for you to see exactly what the Karen is up to here. So anyways, Alex is trying to reason with his mom. He's like, look, okay, mom. Uh, can we at least keep it for a little bit? Because, like, Alex's mom was explaining how tonight she's going to drive it over and, like, get rid of it and sell it right now. And that's when Alex is a little bit confused. Alex is like, uh, what do you mean sell it right now? And she's like, oh, the neighborhood Karen said that, you know, she'd buy it and then she'd go and sell it somewhere. And Alex is like, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so that immediately was, like, a red flag. So Alex is like, okay. How much was the neighborhood Karen going to give you for the product? 
And, uh, you know, the mom's like, she said that she'd give us, you know, a lot of money to take it off our hands. And Alex is like, and that amount is? And Alex's mom was like, $50. She's so generous. She just wants the best for you. And Alex is like immediately filled with like, part of him's like, aha, I figured it out. But the other part of him was real mad. So Alex is like, mom. This person's trying to scam you. And she's like, what? And Alex is like, mom, Xbox go for like $400. She's trying to, what she's trying to do is scare you guys to make you think that you need to get rid of your son's or daughter's Xboxes immediately and that she will be so generous to quote unquote, take them off your hands for $400 and then she's going to resell them or for $50 and then she's going to resell them for $400 and net the profit. And, you know, Alex's mom's like, well, n- no, no, she wouldn't do that. Uh, she probably just doesn't know. And Alex is like, she doesn't know. And Alex's mom's like, no, she, she really cares about you, Alex. Like, she was, she was saying that she needs to do this to all the kids in the neighborhood. And Alex is like, mm-hmm. Real quick, you made it as far into the video, comment Karen down below. And also, if you use Spotify, make sure to check us out on Spotify. I don't know why I said us, it's literally just me. Check out my story times on Spotify in the description, pin comment, follow me on there. And uh, yeah, after, make sure to comment Karen, press the like button to claim your free nothing. And anyways, so Alex's dad was like, all right, sweetie, like maybe we should listen to, Car- uh, to Alex here. And she's like, no, the neighborhood Karen is just doing her best. She's such a sweet lady. And so Alex is like, okay, let me think of something. And he's like, okay, um, let's try this. Mom, can you tell me the first and last name of the neighborhood Karen? And, you know, so she does. Let's just say first name is neighborhood, last name is Karen. Obviously not, but you guys understand what I mean. So what Alex does is he goes on Facebook Marketplace and he finds the neighborhood Karen. And sure enough, there are already listings for Xboxes, like multiple Xboxes, even before she even got them, right? Listings for Xboxes going for $350 to $400. So Alex pulls this up, and it's like definitive proof. So yeah, uh, basically Alex was able to absolutely expose the Karen's plans because Alex was able to show that the Karen had actually already put listings on Facebook Marketplace for because like you know i think the karen like told all the parents to like yeah by tonight or tomorrow make sure to get me the xboxes i will give you a generous like 50 dollars and i will do all the hard work for you i'll just make sure it's away from your sons and daughters as fast as possible you're doing the right thing as a parent Mm." right so yeah um at this point alex's mom is starting to realize what's up and she's like wait no this this can't be her looks at the profile it is super obviously the neighborhood karen And so, yeah, Alex's mom starts to get into group chat, starts to call Alex's friends, and uh, apparently none of Alex's other friends put two and two together. Thank God for Alex, because apparently none of the other moms in that kind of group had already sold the Xbox, but some of them were about to drive there as Alex was going. Like, it was really incredibly good timing. So, yeah, sure enough, like, all the moms are starting to realize what's good. They're starting to realize that the neighborhood Karen is not looking out for their, you know, their children. She just wants to make a quick buck. And here's the thing. There was, like, 20... I'm going to do some mental math, so don't roast me. But there was, like, let's say 20 parents, right? And let's say 20 parents all brought Xboxes. Let's say Xboxes for, you know, $300. God, I'm going to embarrass myself. So 20 at 100 is all right crack under pressure basically doing the math like that it at three hundred dollars lowballing it it would be a profit of five grand insane right so yeah all the parents get together they're all super mad and like alex's friends are texting him like one by one being like dude you're a genius you're a lifesaver you're actually the goat you're the greatest of all time bro you actually like saved us like with the xbox stuff you're super cool for that alex is feeling pretty smart so yeah um uh apparently the neighborhood karen texts in the group being like where's everyone in their xboxes and yeah she was confronted by all the moms and the Karen was having a back and forth about being like, how dare you accuse me? And this is before the mom showed proof of like the listings on Facebook Marketplace. 
So yeah, the Karen's all like, how dare you accuse me of this? I just want the best for my, for your kids. I'm doing this selflessly. And then one of the moms drops a screenshot of the listing on Facebook Marketplace that is obviously the Karen, the neighborhood Karen, and basically proof that she is reselling it for like $300, $350, $400. And the neighborhood Karen's like, uh, so I have to go through all the work of find, finding someone to take these off your hands. And the parents are like, nah, it's so obvious. Because it was obviously... Her trying to scare them out of, like, giving up, like, the Xboxes for a little bit of money. And then the Karen being able to resell them, right? A pretty obvious scam at this point. So the neighborhood Karen is like, you don't understand what you're doing. You're messing up your children. And they kind of respond like, yeah, well, if we are, you know, thanks for letting us know all those facts about video games. We're going to question those facts a little bit and check them out ourselves. But also, like, we're just going to, like, hold on to the Xboxes and, like, and, like, we're just going to parent a little bit more, you know, I don't know. We're just going to pay it a little bit more attention, but we're not giving you the, basically, the Xboxes for free. So, yeah, after that point, I think a few parents, like, were like, oh, can't play it on the weekdays, only on the weekends. I don't know. Uh, Alex's parents were actually chill and said, you can do what you want. You're actually fine. But, yeah, uh, Alex saved the day and stopped his parents and him and all of his friends from getting scammed by the neighborhood Karen. If you want to support the channel, click on one of the videos on the screen right now. Listen to me on Spotify, and peace.